Hello everyone, welcome back to another vegan and gluten-free recipe episode on this channel. Today we're heading to the Mediterranean and making this protein-packed tabbouleh salad. Traditionally, tabbouleh salad is made with bulgur wheat, which does contain gluten. I've had that traditional version many, many times. But in order to make this tabbouleh gluten-free, I'm going with an alternative to bulgur wheat, which we'll get to in a second. There's 10 beautiful, colorful ingredients going into this tabbouleh salad and five recipe steps. Let's first go through each of the 10 ingredients one by one super quickly. First up, we have one cup of rinsed quinoa quinoa, and this will serve as the gluten-free alternative to bulgur wheat. There's also two cups of chopped flat leaf parsley, one and a half cups of quartered cherry tomatoes, one half cup of chopped fresh mint leaves, one half cup of chopped scallions, these are also known as green onions, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one half cup of extra virgin olive oil, two cups of water, and finally some salt and pepper to taste. Now let's go through the five steps of the recipe, which I've linked down in the description box in case you'd like to follow along with me and make some of this tabbouleh yourself. Step number one involves cooking the quinoa in the two cups of water and the way that I'll do that is to bring you over to my stovetop where my saucepan is all ready. I'll bring the quinoa and water mixture to a boil and then I'll reduce it to low heat, put a lid on the saucepan, and let that mixture simmer for about 10 minutes. For step number two, I'll remove the cooked quinoa from my stovetop, bring it over here to my countertop, and let it cool for about 10 minutes. Step number three is when it starts to get really fun. I'll combine the cooked quinoa, the cherry tomatoes, the scallions, the mint leaves, and the parsley leaves in a large glass bowl. For step number four, I'll add in the olive oil, the lemon juice, the salt, and the pepper. And then for step number five, which is the very last step of this very easy recipe, I'll dish up some of the tabbouleh for myself, show you the final product, dig in, and let you know what I think. That's everything you need to know about how to make this tabbouleh salad so without further ado let's head over to my stovetop and start cooking this quinoa. Good news everyone, I am thrilled with how this quinoa tabbouleh salad has turned out. We've now arrived at the final step, step number five, so I'm gonna grab quickly a plate and some silverware. And I already gave you that close up just a moment ago, but I'll give you a close up of what this looks like when it's all plated. I love that you can see most of the ingredients and it may be hard to tell on camera, but there definitely is a bit of a shine on top of the salad because of the olive oil. I don't think I've had tabbouleh with really strong mint flavor before, so that's the component of this recipe that I'm most curious about. I'm gonna try to get everything in one bite, so a little bit of scallion, parsley, mint, mint, tomato, salt and pepper. I mean, I can see the pepper in here. Wow, that is so good. And I do really get the mint with this. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of mint in both my desserts and savory dishes. As far as beverages go, I love mint in my tea. I love mint in hot chocolate. And I also love a mint leaf or two in my adult cocktails. But as far as this goes, I love all of the flavors. It really does taste like the bulgur wheat tabbouleh I've had many, many times in my life. In my opinion, this recipe is faultless. It has has all my favorite flavors in a tabbouleh salad. I love the colors. I would say the one tiny tweak I would make to this next time, and this is just based on my own personal taste preferences, is I would throw in probably two or three more scallions because I love that sharp bite that you get of onion flavor with the scallions. I feel like this is one of those recipes where it's so healthy, but it tastes so good that it doesn't feel like you're making an effort to eat healthy. It just is so good as it is. And I could honestly eat most of this bowl for a huge meal if I just wanted to have this for dinner. 
I would have no problem wiping this out. Well, my lovely foodies, that is everything for today's episode. Let me know what you thought of this quinoa tabbouleh salad in the comment section. If you like this recipe and are interested in similar veggie salads that take very little time to prepare, I've linked two recipes for you at the very end of this video. One of them is a quinoa kale and black bean salad courtesy of the Run Fast Eat Slow Cookbook, which I've featured so many times on this channel. And the second recipe is a chickpea and radish salad courtesy of the classic Fanny Farmer cookbook. That's it for today's episode. So take care, everybody. Eat well, and I will see you in the next episode on this channel. Bye!